The Morning Show from your local news leader. Welcome back, Central Illinois. As we always do on Fridays, we get to review films. And so today, two fact-based dramas are available for viewing this week. And so joining us live now is our film critic, Chuck Kaplinski, to review The Good Nurse and Call Jane. So Chuck, are you leaning towards one that you've enjoyed the most? Actually, it was a good week. Ooh. It was a good week. I was surprised by both these films. Uh, the Good Nurse, though, I have to say, is a little bit better than the others because it's really stuck with me. Uh, you know, we talk about this is uh, Halloween, we talk about <laughs> monsters and vampires, and well, this one reminds us that monsters are among us. This is based on a true story. And there you see Jessica Chastain. She plays a na lady named Amy Logren. And this woman is a true hero. And there's Charlie Cullen, played by Eddie Redmayne. Uh, the thing I liked about this movie is, is that even though it deals with a serial killer, it doesn't deal with recreations of the crime, and it doesn't deal primarily with the investigation to bring him in, although that is part of it. It deals with the friendship between these two people. She's a struggling single mom. She's raising two kids. She's working as a nurse at the night shift, and she also has a heart disease. She doesn't want to tell the hospital about her condition because she's four months away from her one-year anniversary when then she will get insurance. Her new co-worker, though, Charlie Cullen there that we saw, she, he tends to notice what's going on. He starts to take care of her, slipping her meds, helping her with the girls. It never becomes romantic, but they have a good, solid friendship that she ends up relying on, and then her world is rocked when she is told that he has been accused of killing his patients. Uh, this is something that she finds out when she is approached by two investigators who are trying to track this guy down, get some solid evidence, and bring him in, and that puts her, of course, in the middle of this situation. This is an absolutely gripping, gripping movie because we know it's true, and also because we are frustrated with her by those folks, the folks that run the hospital. We find that this guy, they think, they're not quite sure, they think he killed over 400 oh my people, God. and they find that the hospitals that he was working with did not want the publicity, they did not want to be sued, so they would have him resign move on, and of course they would not give him a bad recommendation when he would go to other hospitals and he was allowed to continue to do this for years and it took Amy's perseverance to help bring him in. Again, try and imagine your best friend, the guy you're close to, girl you're close to, and then all of a sudden you're told, hey, this guy or gal kills people. What would you do? This one really shook me and there is a scene in which they finally ask Charlie why he does what he does and I'm telling you, it just sent ch chills up and down my spine. These two, Chastain and Redmayne, those two of the best that we have, and they bring that to this. This you can see on Netflix, and as I say, this is one that's probably going to have you, as it did me, doing some research to really find out more about what happened and why this happened. And again, a stark reminder that the monsters, they're among us. I say they can be people, as you we know. You got so. it. You got it. So really like the good nurse. Okay, so you can go home and just turn on Netflix and watch that right away. Nice there. chilly evening. Cuddle up with a blanket, throw this one on. Yep. All righty, Chuck. Thank you so much for those chills this morning, not just from the temperatures, too. No, no. We talk about it. Okay, and so then we now turn to Call Jane. Is this just Call as chilling? Or? No, no, okay. no. This one's infuriating. Uh -oh. uh, Call Jane is also a fact-based story. Uh, and there we see Elizabeth Banks. I've never been a fan of hers, but boy, she really, really impressed me here. Uh, she plays a young woman, a woman named Joy. Uh, she is an older mom. She finds out that she is pregnant again, and she is denied an abortion. This takes place in 1968 okay. in Chicago. And there she is, been denied, and she sees this flyer, and it says, if you're in trouble, call Jane. She calls this phone number, and she finds out Jane is not a person. It is a collective of women, and these women help other women get the abortions that they need. Here we see the procedure, and of course it is a life-altering event for her. And what she finds is, Joy finds is that this is where she belongs. She's a suburban housewife. She's been in her bubble. She has no idea really what the real world is like until she gets here. And she decides she's going to help the Janes in their crusade. So much so that she ends up uh, uh, doing these procedures herself. Uh, this is about this woman's awakening. This is about this woman finding her purpose, uh, finding what she really should be doing in her life. This mo movie, you know, with the timing in which it's being released, with the whole Roe decision and everything, this movie is a reminder that women in this country, if you deny them the right to take care of themselves as they see fit, they will find a way to take care of this. And I hope 
that uh, we can get this turned around so that this doesn't have to happen again. This one you have to go to theaters to see, but it is well worth seeing. Again, very timely, very good. I was going to say, and they, they're making their voices heard through this film too, Chuck, You bet, so. you bet. All right, well, we thank you for coming in and reviewing these films for us. Of course.